Hello, and welcome to PCI's Tech TV. In this episode, we will discuss and demonstrate how to search for and download freely available SRTM 30 meter resolution digital elevation models. SRTM stands for Shuttle Radar Topographic Mission, and the products of which are widely considered to be the most accurate free DEM sources available. Previously, users outside of North America could only access the 90 meter SRTM DEMs, but as of May 2014, the White House announced that the SRTM 30 meter DEMs would become available to the rest of the world, and they are making good on their promise. SRTM 30 meter DEMs are not yet available everywhere, but can be acquired in most high priority zones around the world, and every day more SRTM 30 meter DEMs are being added to the library. The availability of SRTM 30 meter DEMs now gives users better quality DEMs for performing photogrammetric processes such as creating orthophotos, performing atmospheric and terrain correction, and for performing various types of topographic and elevation analysis. So now let's show you how to begin acquiring these wonderful data sets. The easiest way to search for and acquire SRTM 30 meter DEMs is by using the USGS Earth Explorer portal. This portal allows you to acquire a variety of GIS, geological, geoimagery, and topographic data throughout North America and the world. So we'll start by bringing up our web browser and searching for Earth Explorer. So we can see here we have earthexplorer.usgs.gov, which brings us to the portal. And the first thing we need to do is register for an account. This account is free, so you just need to provide some basic information. So we'll call this Geotech TV. We can just fill out this basic form. After you've successfully filled out the form, you will receive a notification in your email to let you uh, confirm and finalize the registration. After receiving your confirmation email, you can simply just click on this link, which will confirm your registration. So we'll just provide our username in here, and we'll go confirm. So now we're confirmed. So we now click on the home button in order to return back to our login page. We'll just log in. Okay, and now we can begin searching for our data set. So searching for data is very easy. You have the option to select an address or a place, a path and row, or a specific feature, either a US feature or a world feature. We also have the ability to provide specific coordinates that outline a bounding box provide a shape file, a KML file, so a variety of different options about how we can define our area of interest. And then from there we can also filter it based on our data, our date range. So we can choose all this information. My preference is to just simply use the map and for example click on an area. So say I'm interested in Barcelona, I can just simply click on a region here which will create a bounding box, which will then find all the different uh, data sets that intersect this bounding box. So at this stage I can then click on the data sets tab and we're going to go down and look for our DEM. So you can see we have digital elevations as an option here. Then we have down here, it's a little bit hidden, it's the SRTM. And we can choose our SRTM 1 arc second global. So we choose that and then we can go at this point, we can either provide additional criteria or go directly to our results. So it's now going to look for all the different data sets that intersect this bounding box. So we can see here it found two. So we can just quickly take a look at the footprint of these two. So you can see it completely intersects and provides coverage of this bounding box. We can even take a quick peek at the overview of the image. And then at this point now we can go and choose to download. So we do have an option where you can download uh, do a bulk download of, if you have a lot of tiles that you're trying to get. You have to download some additional software and install additional software for that. But in this case, I'm just going to download the individual files through HT, uh, HTTP. So I'm just going to choose the GeoTIFF in this case. So we begin downloading our first one and then we can and download our second one. Now that our downloads have completed, we can simply just go to Show in Folder and then we can go into our for example, Geomatica Focus, and we can display and visualize our DEMs. So we can just grab these TIFF images, 
and drag and drop them into our viewer. And now we can see, and if we, for example, were to hold them both together and apply an enhancement, you can see that you have a perfect, perfect transition between the cut zones. And that's all there is to it.